Hey guys, it's me, Penny Angela. So um, today's look is going to be a Pamela Anderson inspired makeup look. And if you wanna see how I got to this, um, yeah, keep on watching. Um, today's video will be a voiceover because I wanna listen to music while I do my makeup. That's honestly one of the reasons why I don't really do um, makeup tutorials on here. It's because I like to listen to music and um, if I'm doing a talk through, obviously I can't have the music on because of copyright. So I have a photo shoot today and there will be a vlog of that photo shoot, but I decided to, while I'm getting ready, why not film a freaking tutorial? You guys have asked me about this a lot on my Instagram. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, why the F aren't you bitch? It's somewhere down there below. Please fucking follow me and follow my TikTok. Where I also did a, I gotta glue my other nail back on, like, eh. <laughs> where I also did a short um, version of the Pammy look. So, uh, yeah, if you wanna see the Pammy vibe, keep on watching. Hey y'all, this is my first voiceover. Let's get friggin' started, bitch. So, putting my hair up like I'm about to. <laughs> Like I'm about to do that, <laughs> bitch. Okay, thumbs up, bitch. Okay, so right now we are about to block my eyebrows and we're gonna um, brush some brows up. We're using like this brow pencil from Sephora and I'm using the spoolie on the brow, on the brow pencil to brush my brows up because we are about to block them hoes. Here we are coming in with some um, glue, some Elmer's like stick glue, it's not Elmer's, but it's the same vibe, make sure it's non-toxic and uh, yeah, rub it all in there. So when you're doing this step, you wanna make sure that each layer dries before you go on to the next one. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just fanning myself with this um, little mirror vibe. So yeah, tapping them to make sure that they are dry coming back in with the spoolie just um, brushing those brows up one more time to make sure I don't miss any hairs and letting them dry so I'm like <laughs> I'm rocking out to insane clown posse right now whoop whoop period leave a like if you are a juggalo or a juggalette and if you're family 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 whoop whoop period bitch like where are the freaking juggalos honestly it's been like, sorry if you hear me, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking to, like, my freaking AirPod, okay? So you may hear some airplanes in the back of this voiceover because I live in LA. Anyway, we are using our Juvia's Place Foundation instead of a concealer to cover my eyebrows. Why? Because, as you can see, this um, foundation is super thick and that's what i like for my brows like one swipe and then you're pretty much covered honey like look at that like where are my brows like there's like no brows i'm like balding in my brows right now knock on wood you know what i mean but like i made it like look at that like alien vibe don't you try to cancel me for saying that because I, I i actually know how you guys are like look what will smith did honestly like i know how you guys can like just misconstrue like things and honestly like don't play with me thumbs up okay so <laughs> uh, I am just blending that baby in I have like a nice little unibrow of um, foundation on my eyebrow area and now we're going to pack in some powder some setting powder to set those brows so um this foundation stays put of course you can use concealer and I'm definitely going to get some um, color corrector yeah the excess powder is like never fun it's never fun to have excessive powder well sometimes it's kind of fun but that's another story anyway um here we are with <laughs> we're using an eyeliner pen uh, no an eyebrow pencil from Sephora hey Sephora I love your products just letting you know like I love the Sephora freaking brand um 
so here we are we are now penciling in those thin sexy pamela anderson brows um i feel like the outcome of this was an okay brow day i used this pencil for the first time it wasn't my first time using this exact pencil but this is a new pencil and sometimes like when you first get an eyebrow pencil, you kind of have to like warm it up. So what I did was um, I darkened the eyebrow pencil with some eyeshadow to make it look a little bit darker. And I did my second brow off camera, but I was kind of feeling that like one of them was looking a little bit too high for my liking. So here I am just erasing it off my friggin' face. So I am going to redo that exact brow and check it out, see if I like how it's coming out. You guys, there is nothing wrong with starting over and I understand sometimes you're super excited and the makeup doesn't come out how you want it to look first try. You know what? I'm the type of person where if it doesn't look good, it's going to bother me. So I have to just take it off because I don't want to continue doing the rest of my makeup and I just hate the way my brow looks, you know? Don't forget to wash some hands. I like to wash my hands often when I do my makeup. Next we are coming in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer because we are about to get into it and do the eyeshadow. You need to have a primer. It's 2022, you should know by now. At bare minimum, concealer on your, your, your lids, but you need to put something so the product sticks to your lids, honey. We know this. So next, we are using the Kat Von D Fetish Palette. I do not want to hear it from you. I already know what you're going to say. Um, <laughs> we are using the shade s &M. It's like an ashy gray tone, and we're going to put that in our inner corners and in our crease. We're going to buff that around there, creating this like cat shape almost um i got this palette many moons ago it was on sale at sephora and i bought it like what like honestly like you need to get over it like please anyway <laughs> um we're doing that on the other eye baby let's go let's go that was so cringe but see i know when i'm being cringe loser okay like oh my god don't don't honestly don't get me started anyway Let's just keep doing our makeup. Next, we are coming in with that dark shade in the shade Rubber. It's the only dark black in the palette. You can't miss it. We're Now we're packing that in like our inner V and also in the crease, we're gonna like blend that in there to give it more uh, shape and definition. Okay, now we're just gonna speed this up a little bit. I forget what I was pointing to. I think it was the brown shade suspension and we are putting that like um in the upper regions of this to blend out the blackness and then we're going to go in to that lovely silver shade i believe it's called cult and we're packing that in the middle of our lid Okay, so now we're just going to do some like last minute finishing touches and we're going to now proceed to our next palette, which is the Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop Cosmetics. So we're going to take that black glittery shade from the Hocus Pocus palette and add it towards the silver to make the silver blend in a little bit more with the black matte shade. Next, we're going to take this little like white cream color and we're going to highlight our brow bone pammy usually had like a super highlighted 90s brow bone it was usually either like a white frost or a light pink glimmer so that's what we're doing there in a way that matches my skin tone i am rocking out to icp y'all time for lashes so these are some lashes my mother has given me. I forgot the name of the brand. I will leave all products in the description. And I did my lashes off camera, by the way, because like I try on five, 500 different freaking lashes um, before I actually pick a lash. 
so yeah so we're going back in with that same dubious place foundation in the shade kenya i believe and now we are now clearly putting on foundation i also primed with the elf primeless putty i freaking love that stuff as y'all can see this foundation is super thick there was a time where I was like in love with this finish, but as my makeup routine started to change, I'm kind of over it and I'm obviously going to use it a lot, but leave me some recommendations for medium to full coverage concealer. I mean, foundation. So just checking my brows out again, I decided to put a little bit more foundation on my brows just because I felt some what's popping out, some of my brow hairs. Now it's time for my favorite part is concealer, bitch. Like I friggin' love concealer. So I like to do my concealer in an upward mo uh, motion. It gives it like a facelift. It lifts your face up. So that's what I love about concealer is that it cars out your face and we're just going to use our beauty blender and buff it out. And we are now going to set that concealer. I am not a fan of baking anymore. I really just like to press the product into my pores and kind of leave it as, you know, that's what I like. And here I am going in with another layer because I like a real brightening effect, but take that as you will. If you don't like that look, then clearly you don't freaking have to do it. This is just like what I like. Now we're coming in with our Black Radiance pressed powder and we're going to just warm up our face a little bit and pretty self-explanatory. And now we're coming in with that Lizzie McGuire palette. We love the Lizzie McGuire Y2K vibes and I love blush so I'm just adding some blush. Um, Something bad is about to freaking happen y'all. Just freaking wait for it. Wait for it. I was pissed, bitch. I was pissed. I was pissed. Don't you hate when you have like shimmer on your hand or anything on your hand, black eyeshadow, then it ends up on your face and then like ruins your whole vibe. So all I did was put some um, powder to dull out that shimmer and then on top of it use like whatever was left on my beauty blender of my skin tone foundation. And here we are starting the underlie with a ColourPop purple. Next, we are coming in with some Juvia's Place. I use this Juvia's Place, I believe it's the Warrior 2 palette. I use it as everything, a bronzer, a pressed powder, and also a lip liner. So we're just going to line our lips with the powder. Um, it's something I've been doing recently and I actually kind of like it. And sometimes feels it lasts much longer than a actual like waxy lip liner. Get your freaking ass up and work. It's like nobody wants to work these days. That's so true. So we're using our KKW Beauty um, lip shit, lip shit, lipstick in black. And then we're adding a little bit of this Wet n Wild in the middle. Pam was known for her eye, not, not her eyeliner, but for her lip liner. And now I'm coming in with an actual lip liner also from Sephora to darken that up, to give it that like 90s, super pronounced lip liner vibe. So now I'm adding a lip gloss. This is the NYX Milky Lip Gloss as a topper. I don't really know how I feel about my vibe, but yeah, baby, and that is the finished look, and yeah. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. Obviously, I have to do my hair, but for the sake of like me running late to my photo shoot, um, 
this is as much as you're getting <laughs> this is as much as you're getting i really need to stop filming but um you know this is like the pammy inspired makeup i may change up my lip and darken my lip liner um but for right now this is the look and um it's very sexy let's um I don't know is that like creepy but yeah so this is the finished look super fun um doing tutorials are like honestly you guys like they're not my favorite thing to film but like if you guys like them then obviously I may film them more often but maybe like once a month but they're just like ugh, I don't find like joy in them and I always feel like when I do my makeup um on camera outside of TikTok like doing a YouTube like oops hair <laughs> I feel like it never comes out as good and I like I'm not like super proud of this makeup today like it's okay um still better than like my haters on their best day but you know it's not <laughs> it's not up to par but um yeah maybe just gonna do my hair and curl it a little bit but this is the finished look um thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments below on like if I do do makeup tutorials what type of looks would you guys like to see um don't forget to follow me on all my social medias and I love y'all so much and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>